All right, hello everybody, and welcome to our Live Good Product Training Zoom, where you learn all about our life-changing products as well as how they can help you and benefit your health. Uh, but before we get started, please go ahead, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and comment your biggest takeaway from this video today, as we love to hear your feedback. Um, all right, so today yeah. we are going to talk about our beloved USDA Organic Super Greens. Um, super Greens are a great addition to any healthy diet, uh, not used to uh, supplement instead of um, you know, green vegetables, but in, in addition to. I um, mean, you will notice as you read the ingredients through our super greens, that they are not common ingredients that you would be eating any day, every day anyways, because they're not easy to source from your grocery store. Right. I don't even really think you can source any of them from I, the grocery store. I know, and I was Maybe looking up spirulina. It's like, a couple. <laughs> what grocery store sells spirulina? Right. It's all basically powder form. Supplement form. Yeah. I think the only one in there, let's just say, is dandelion, because yeah. I know you can buy dandelion root. Or ashwagandha root. I've not seen that. I mean, I've not seen any. Whole Foods or anything? No. 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 So again, different kinds of ingredients in here, ingredients you're not going to get on an everyday basis. Each one is so nutrient dense, right. has so many benefits to help with... Um, you know, a blood sugar balance, sure. you know, maintaining healthy cholesterol levels and yeah. blood pressure levels. They are also, when I say nutrient dense, guys, they're like super high in pro in protein, iron, um, vitamins, yeah. minerals, antioxidants. I mean, there's just so many things in this one little scoop of organic super greens. And I said organic again. Yes, it is USDA certified organic, with which is such a huge, you know, lengthy process, but a very, very important one when you're consuming, you know, fresh, from the dried, earth. Fruits whole of, food, yeah, whole, whole food fruits ingredients, and whole food ingredients, exactly. So some of the things I'll just go down the list, and I know Ryan will go into them a little bit more. Things that are in in these: uh, chlorella, spirulina, matcha. So you think about your matcha tea; it is non-caffeinated matcha tea. I do get that question a lot. Moringa. We used to have a moringa tree in our oh, front yeah. yard. Yes, miracle plant. Is that what? Yeah, that's right. It's called the miracle plant. Aloe vera, super great for gut health. Um, dulce, dandelion root. Dandelion root is one of my favorite things for detox, guys. Mm -hmm. It is so, so important in the detox pathways. Really, really helps support your body's natural detox pathways. Alfalfa, we have our grasses, wheat, barley, um, oat. There's probiotics. And what I would think is maybe one of my favorite, and there's the KSM 66 ashwagandha, which mm -hmm. I know you will go into in a lot of detail, but um, ashwagandha really helps with, you know, stress response, um, anxiety. It's uh, super great as well as hormone health. Yeah. Adds, adds to hormone health. So um, Ryan, why don't you dig into some of the ingredients sure. a little bit more and then we'll. And when you talk about nutrient density, the word superfood gets thrown around an awful lot. There's no real official or standard definition for that term, but the way we view it is just foods that are exceptionally high in nutrients. They're very nutrient dense and they can contain micronutrients, which we, when we use that word micronutrients is vitamins. And they also contain macronutrients, not all do, but some of these do contain macronutrients, which are your protein, your carbohydrates and your fats. And that's what's interesting about a lot of the ingredients that we selected for this product is because you will be shocked to learn that some of them have as much protein on a dry weight basis as an egg. Uh, six, sometimes 60 plus percent of the nutritional content is a protein right? or they have, or they might have fatty acids, right? Like DHA, uh, EPA, arachidonic acid. They might have some of these very beneficial fatty acids and of course some carbohydrate as well. So when we talk superfood, that is what we're talking about. Right. So, and nutrient dense. So it's like really low in calorie if you were to source these, right. you know, each individually. Yeah, exactly. Um, but putting it all together in our super greens, you know, 10 calories right? Um, no sugars. It is actually sweetened with stevia and monk fruit. Mm -hmm. So it is keto friendly. It is diabetic friendly. Um, I do get a lot, of, a lot of questions on like, would this break a fast? And it depends on what kind of fasting you're doing, guys. Um, a lot of people believe in anything besides water, it breaks a fast. And there's that, you know, other schools of thought that under 40 calories or less will not break a fat fast, especially if it doesn't alter blood sugar, which the fact that this you know, does not have any sugars in it, yeah. any sweetened it should not alter da dairy free and gluten free yeah i know it's a common question oh, right you're right because of the wheatgrass and on here we say gluten free what we have listed contains wheat because wheatgrass is a wheat product but due to the harvesting guys it does not contain gluten it's the earliest part of the tree, the plant it's the first leaf right basically right yeah so, I mean, I, if somebody has celiac disease, you know, that's a whole different ball game. So I would just recommend discussing with your healthcare provider um, as to whether you can consume wheatgrass, but it is not a gluten product. 
Yeah, no, it's not gluten. Um, and very well tolerated for the most part. So good stuff. All right. So the, the some of the things that we put in here, though, we went again going for those foods. There's really no cruciferous vegetables or like your standard run of the mill grocery store type stuff. Um, first of all, gruc cruciferous, and a lot of people ask why not, you know, broccoli. It, it's actually very difficult. It's not um, palatable. It's very difficult to mask the flavor profile um, of those vegetables. So it, it, it's not ideal, uh, number one. And number two, you can buy them and source them. And that's another thing that we always encourage is this is a supplement to also having a very healthy, well-balanced, nutritious plan that includes some cruciferous vegetables and some good, uh, healthy, whole green vegetables. Right, right. right. So think of this in yeah, addition, in addition to, to that. Yep. So one of the ones that I love, obviously, is a um, big fan of spirulina. Spirulina, the World Health Organization deemed it a very a most relevant um, it's a microalgae, but relevant super food. It's, it's been studied. I mean, just all across the board because of how easy and how fast it grows. And it's, uh, doesn't require any herbicides, any pesticides. It's basic, very, very clean process. It's a blue green algae and they deemed it a, a superfood because it has such high nutrient density. So it's high in micronutrients. So high in vitamins, high in minerals, high in phytonutrients, which are the plant compounds, typically the things that give color, to the plant. So we always encourage people to eat. We'll talk a little bit about antioxidants and oxidative stress today, but also very high. In, and that's, this is the one I was referring to earlier, high in macronutrients with 60% uh, protein weight, um, it has essential fatty acids. It has some carbohydrate. Um, but again, it's, it's just, it's packed with, with so much power, but NASA is studying it because how easy it is to grow. We're talking about if we're trying to colonize Mars, they're, they're talking about using spirulina, uh, and as well as chlorella, which is another ingredient, right? It's another microalgae, mm -hmm. um, just an incredibly easy, sustainably, ethically sourced algae that is super good for you right. and not readily available in our supermarkets. Right. And things that everybody should be taking daily. So yeah. you will see in health food stores that they'll have individual supplements, chlorella, right. spirulina. You know, our goal was to get as many of these really powerful superfoods into one scoop, right? And something easily to be taken every day. Um, why don't do you want to talk about the KSM six six six? I do. Yeah, I think that it's funny. It's an underappreciated sort of. There's not a lot of awareness around ashwagandha, but there it's been used for six millennia in Ayurvedic medicine, six thousand plus years in Indian medicine, and it's been shown. It's it's kind of categorized as an adaptogen. It can help people with. Uh, stress management is basically what it comes down to, but it's very, very beneficial for autoimmune disorders and, and inflammation. So and some things in the inflammatory cascade, it, it, ashwagandha has been shown to be a very beneficial uh, right. ingredient for that as well. So, yeah, I mean, the, the thing about ashwagandha, though, it's interesting is you can buy ashwagandha, ground ashwagandha, and not even know it, but you're getting mixed parts of the plant that, that are not standardized. We often will talk about when we do extracts, there's a standard, you want to use standardized product when possible. So in this case, they're standardized to the withanolide concentration. And the KSM-66 is a, again, ethically sourced, sustainably sourced, an Indian farm. If you go to their website and re research about it, they're, they're, they have a huge commitment to quality quality nice. and, and, and long-term growth and success of the plant and, and the use of ashwagandha. So again, it's only root uh, it's only the root, so no leaves, whereas you could simply buy a very cheap ashwagandha product and have just a mix of, you know, the, st the stalk, the, the root, the, the leaves, and, you know, right. you not have it standardized. So you really don't know how much you're getting. So very happy about that ingredient. And again, USDA certified organic. Sure. You have well, each ingredient in, yeah. in there. So many benefits with ashwagandha, guys. I'm telling you, if you're not aware of it now, you will be, even if you just, it's just because it's growing. It's a segment of healthcare that is really starting to expand um, and again, like I said, used for 6,000 plus years. And now we're seeing it more and more in Western medicine because we're slow to adopt these newer alternative therapies. You know, we're, um, so anyway, I'm, I'm hopeful that more people start really incorporating it into their daily lifestyle. So, um, all right, cool. Hey guys, and just a reminder while you're watching this Zoom, you can go right to livegood.com to purchase any of these products. You can go to product sections, like buy now right under the super greens. And we'll ship it out tomorrow, the next day. Yeah, so super easy. And if anything else, check out the other learn more sections on some of the other products while you're there as well. Right. So, um, okay, this, we're talking a lot about this little scoop. Oh, we're going to show you yeah, mix how it up. easily awesome. it mixes. Let's do it. But also, guys, this is, mm. for members, this is $18. There's 30 servings in here. 
I mean, that's crazy. There are so many um, super green type products on the market that are 75 to $99. Yeah. It is out of control um, because and a lot of them aren't even organic. And a lot of them put a ton of ingredients. So you'll see their whole entire list of it. They might say like, you know, they're proprietary blend and they list all the ingredients, oh, point. but they don't tell you how much of anything. You, you just know how much the total proprietary blend is. And that's not disclosing everything. So always make note that with our products, like we do have our proprietary blends. That's, those are just blends unique yeah, to live good. That's what I made. That was my job. Correct. Um, and But we also list the amount of each ingredient in there. Down. So you know exactly how much you're getting of each ingredient. You're not just getting a sprinkle of maybe the ingredient that you're really looking for. You're not just getting a sprinkle of it. We're telling you what's in there. That's what a lot of other companies do when they don't disclose the amounts is so they can just maybe put a little sprinkle here and sprinkle there of ingredients to get it on the ingredient list. But it's really not enough to have a therapeutic benefit. So always keep that in mind. So like I said, $18 for 30 servings if you're a member, 24 if you're not, right? So regardless. Yep. So Super. while you're mixing that, there's a lot of benefits. Lisa mentioned a few earlier, and we talked about inflammation. She talked about some blood pressure, some blood sugar control. Gut support is big, um, as well as liver support and detox. So those are some major ones too. Aloe vera, great for digestive health. Alfalfa, great for liver support. But I want to read you a few cool, cool facts on the Moringa. This is a really neat one, actually. It's called the Miracle Tree, like we said. We had one in our yard, but has um, seven times more vitamin C than oranges, Okay. 10 times more vitamin A than carrots, has 17 times more calcium than milk, has nine times protein found in yogurt, 15 times the vitamin K you'll find in a banana, 25 times the iron you would find in spinach. How about that? It's pretty crazy. So as you see, I Powerful. just easily mix it yeah. up with our little mixer, which is also sold on our website. Mix it up very easily. And I mean, guys, this tastes, I mean, it's its fresh tasting, it's earthy, it's palatable, mm -hmm. and it just goes down smoothly. I think so. Put it with ice for a refreshing drink, but you can also mix this into, with our protein powder. You can mix it in with yeah. our super reds. You can mix it in with, you know, our essential aminos. I mean, they all can be blended together to kind of change your, change the flavor based on your preference. A couple other facts too, the uh, matcha. The yes. second most consumed beverage behind water worldwide, uh, and for good reason, because it's high in EGCG and some other very important antioxidants and phytonutrients too. So matcha green tea is an awesome, awesome yep. addition. And like I said, yep. caffeine free. The dulce is mm -hmm. high uh, in iodine. So mm -hmm. decent support there for thyroid. thyroid. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then, of course, you talked about the, the wheatgrass and how we, we talk about how you only harvest the sprouted mm -hmm. first leaves to avoid the gluten. And it is gluten tested. It's heavy metal tested. So if you go to the website, you can find the COA. You can find the heavy metal testing. You can find, you'll see everything. You'll see all the testing. And we're actually uploading right now the glyphosate uh, and pesticide oh, testing nice. as well. Awesome. So that's that's coming very, yeah, very Yeah, we want to make sure everything is, is covered. And again, full transparency. We want you guys to have access to everything to really understand what goes into making this High, high, high quality product. I, and I would have liked the intro with this, but I'm going to let, I want to let everybody know a little bit about oxidative stress. Okay. So typically the body, the what the body tries to do when we're under stress is neutralize free radicals. Free radicals are just, they're generated in response to normal daily, like as part of our energy metabolism. But, but we also have stressors in life that really increase the amount of free radicals. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we need to be eating foods that are high in phytonutrients, high in the colorful plant compounds, because those are considered antioxidants. Those antioxidants are scavengers. They actually will go and they'll neutralize, yeah, like Pac-Man, mm -hmm. right? They'll scavenge and they'll, they'll, they'll bind to and they'll neutralize free radicals. Free radicals, though, are the reactive oxygen species that we're getting. I mean, it's just, it's the cornerstone of chronic disease. It really is where most chronic disease starts is, is, a, is a high concentration or a repeat exposure to free radicals. Now, besides normal energy metabolism and how the body normally neutralizes them, there's things like noxious compounds. You know, if, 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 if you're living near the highway or if you're working in an industrial job that exposes you to, to, you know, say diesel fumes or whatever it might be, but these are things that can also trigger it. High stress amounts can trigger it. High alcohol can trigger it. Certainly smoking can trigger, trigger it. Um, yeah, then there's a number of different lifestyle things that can cause this. Ultra processed foods right. increase the amount of free radicals sure. that we have. And some things we can, of those we can control. Yeah. And some of them we can't, like you were saying, like well, ultra, work other, environment yeah, or where or, you live or, you know, it's tough, tough to control that. So you really have to work 
really hard to yeah. to help you know remove those. And even like things like sleep deprivation, not getting enough restorative sleep right. can contribute to it. Uh, mold, mildew exposures. Uh, we were very familiar with that. You know, it's kind of ubiquitous in a hot, humid climate like Florida. So we were very accustomed to that as well. Um, ultraviolet radiation. So, you know, if you're out in the middle of the day between 10 and 4 and you're getting blasted in sunburn, a lot of excessive sunburn, that can contribute to a lot of free radical formation. That, guys, is exactly why we're talking about antioxidants. That is exactly what this product here is loaded with, packed with antioxidants. Yeah. So. Got to take it. Daily, daily dose. Yeah, daily dose. Any questions? Yeah, Let's we can breeze some... through a few things too. Yeah, yep. Let's just knock out a couple here and then we'll let you guys go. Um, let me see. Lisa, your skin looks amazing. I, I concur. You <laughs> often get that. We'll, Thank you. We'll do one on our her skincare routine as well. Uh, part, of the, part of it's the essential oils, guys. Is it super sweet? No. No. It, it's not. It's no. not. We don't want anything to be super sweet. No. We don't want to mask... The flavor of uh, first of what it really is right so there is a little bit of the stevia and the monk fruit just to add a little bit of that sweetness that just cuts that maybe could be bitter earthiness but no no not not super flavored not super sweet yeah. and shipping's been easy with the super greens we've been very successful with our shipping mm -hmm. so things have been going smoothly on that yeah. as well